Hi everybody! So today's video is a little roundup of my latest finished objects for April and May. Um, but before we crack on with that, I just want to remind you that um, I have a giveaway going on for this cross stitch pattern. So I'll leave a link to it up here. Um, go and check out that video. I got a couple of cross stitch kits, cross stitch kits from VIP cross stitch and I'm giving this away to one lucky winner wherever they are in the world all they have to do is leave a comment on that video so I just wanted to remind you all about that I'll let it run for another week or so so that's that if you wouldn't mind going over there and checking that out so now on to my finished objects so this I have just literally it's literally hot off the hook this is a little crochet top here See, it has a little bow in the centre here, and I've put some buttons on the back. So I made it in white, and it has this um, lilac trim. And um, I've already made a lilac cardi which goes with this, which I showed you previously, which was a design by Kerry Jane Designs. So I thought I'd make a little summer's dress to go underneath it and it's all matching with the bow so this is a free pattern by um crochet and create or create and crochet i'll leave a link to it all down below so that there is literally hot off the hook i've just finished putting the buttons on that only took me a, two days to do um so the second thing which i have shown you before but i've got two of them here <laughs> look at those they're so cute so cute look at their little tails look at the little tails these are two giraffes these are made from flutter by chunky um and it's a free pattern by amagaroon.com and i'll leave a link to it below <laughs> oh they're cute they're so cute oh there we go so they're really quick and easy to do as well and very cute and the next are all pre-recorded so hope you enjoy my finished objects um, keep watching and you'll see what else i've done over the last month or so take care everybody bye for now so here's a couple of baby blankets i've just finished this one is in this lovely powder pink color and it's a free pattern by Maisie and Ruth and I just made up a little square and put these pom-poms on each corner so it's a lovely pom-pom blanket the yarn that I used was Aldi Aran yarn um, it was one of the big 400 gram balls which I bought a year or so ago I think um, and yeah it's really lovely so really like it I really like the texture of the stitch it's an Aran weight so it crocheted up really quick and it's very nice I like it very much and I like that colour too so the next blanket on to the next blanket which is for a, a boy and the actual blanket pattern itself is uh from kerry jane designs um it's the daisy it's the daisy blanket pattern but as this was for a boy i didn't put daisies on there i found this car replique on pinterest so i added these little cars along the bottom and uh this this blue color here this is stylecraft i think it's stylecraft special dk and it's in denim so it's this lovely blue colour here. So just made that into a square and added the little cars on the bottom. So that one's going to soon be going off to its new crib. Here we've got another little tatty Ted. This is a free pattern by Amagurumi today and I made made this little bear in the colourway white and pink the white is Darimore's Studio DK 
in frost that's the white color and the pink is paint box yarns in candy floss so there, uh, there's the little tatty ted with the patches and the stitching I'll just turn them around little tail and the stitching so just finish this one takes nearly as long to sew up and put all the bits and bobs on than it does to make the whole thing but there we go very sweet very cute I've just finished making these two sets of hanging hearts um, this is a free pattern from Pinterest um, I just made two of each of the same colour and lightly padded them, joined them and lightly padded them and then added this bit of jute or garden string as it's more commonly known so this is in grey shades and these are in Stylecraft style DK colours I think off the top of my head this is graphite silver and hint of silver and then these ones are in Derrimore's Studio DK and oh oh no I don't know the colours but we've got a navy we've got a taupe and we've got a cream so those two sets are going off one set to my sister and one set to my auntie so yeah that was a quite a nice quick little project to make So just finished off this set of three dangly hanging hearts in this sort of like, um, oh what would you call it, sage green, pink and blue and they're going off to my next door neighbour. So these little pom pom pots, tubs, little baskets. I've made two of these, they're uh, two different sizes, um, you just, you can make whatever size you like, um, you just make the round bigger if you want a wider one and then you just do the sides as, as big or as, as tall or as short or tall or deep or as whatever you like and then there's the little pom-poms around here again this was another free pattern that I found on Pinterest this little pink one here um, I'm going to um, give to my niece for Easter I'm going to stuff it with all sort of you know Easter eggy things chocolatey bits a bit of cash as well probably because cash is king and I've made this little one here and this will be for my sister and the little grey hearts that I made I will pop in there for her for my sister for Easter and she just loves grey, grey's her thing so yes there we go there's these two little crochet pots and I used cotton yarn for these and I'll leave a link below to the pattern another baby blanket finished and on its way to the new baby boy that's just been born this is the Barclay baby blanket by Maisie and Ruth and I've made one of these in a pink colour and now I've done one in blue the yarn I used is Derrimore Studio Anti-Pilling in Blue Haze and I just think that's a lovely baby blue colour not too light, not too dark, just perfect so here's the blanket undone there we go, with the little pom-poms on each end so this really is just for putting over the baby when they're in their pram or stroller or pushchair or whatever the terminology is and it's a really lovely pattern to work up love the love this stitch and it's very simple so there we go that's soon going off to its new home here's another baby blanket which I've finished this is just a simple cross stitch 
where you just do a double crochet and instead of doing it one double crochet after the other you do one crochet in the stitch before and then you go back and do another double crochet in the spare stitch before so it gives it a crossed effect so that's all that is um, the border is a leaf border for I think it's called falling leaves um, and it's by Di Diana Krentz on Ravelry it's a free border uh, pattern so I'll leave a link to that below the yarn that I used is Derrimore Studio DK in light pink and there we go there it is soon going off to its new home.